With a new Brotherhood of the Fire Kings deck profile April 2015, the YDK's in the description down below. Come download it and test this deck out. We're starting off with the Alpha, the Omega. Useful in any time of the duel. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Leopard played at three. The engine for the deck tributes himself nobly to search for a fire formation card. He's a perfect target for spirit to summon him for those crazy ass rank 3 level 6 synchro plays. You guys know it. He's the most underrated Brotherhood of the Fire Fist card. Very useful in 3 axis. But this is a Brotherhood of the Fire Kings deck boy. What do you know about it? Brotherhood of the Fire Fist spirit has been released from the shackles of limitation. Only being allowed to be played at 1. He is now at 3. So we play him at 2. Because at 3 it's too cocky for me. He's very useful for the level 3 from the Grave Summon. Useless tuner in the hand unless its effect is utilized to be honest I mean you're not going to be making level sevens or level eights very often in this deck if ever But nonetheless great card and it's used in conjunction with Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Rooster He when it's normal summon you can substitute any fire formation on your field with any from your deck Even if it's special summoned, you can do that when it's special summoned by the effect of a Brotherhood of the Fire Fist monster You can add any Brotherhood of the Fire Fist monster to your hand. I've been saying that too much Let's go to the next card bear you can send any fire formation on the field to destroy one card in the field, so you can do that. Tiki, tiki bear, pop. Tiki, 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 tiki bear, pop. And when it inflicts battle damage, you set one directly from the deck. Dragon. Useful in only certain situations, but when it is... Oh my goodness, you guys will love this card. And it won't clog up your deck at one. So, when you activate any fire formation whilst it's on the field, it sets directly one fire formation trap. So, you can get rid of those traps so you don't top deck them. Therefore, therefore. And it also special summons one monster from the grave by tributing all your fire formations. And you need to have stacks of fire formations, which is why we can't play at more than one. Coach Soldier Wolfbark, the deity, the messiah, revives the fallen warriors from the grave for perfect rank 4 plays. You guys will love this card until it gets negated and you wasted your normal summon and you rage quit the duel. But that's just speculation. Caribou, I gotta explain this a bit. This is a Fire King Fire Fist hybrid. So you guys know that Fire Kings work with the destruction engine. It seems like backward ass way to do it, but you'll see how it benefits you. So when a monster is destroyed by a card effect, that's how the Fire Kings work. So when this card is destroyed by a card effect, you can summon any level four Fire Fist at the end phase to set up some defense. Very good for setting up plays, but it's too clogged to get anything more than one. And you guys might be wondering, why would I destroy my monsters? Well, here's the answer. High Avatar Garunix played at three. When it's destroyed by a card effect, you summon it during the next standby phase and it destroys all monsters on the field, including your own. That means don't get confused when YGO Pro destroys your monsters and you start messaging me and commenting that I broke the game. When it's destroyed by battle, you can special summon any Fire King monster from your deck. And you might be wondering, wait a minute, there's more Fire Kings than Garunix? Hell yeah, there are. Like, Brong. He's my favorite because when he's destroyed by a card effect, you can, in the next standby phase, you can search any Fire King monster. That means circle the Fire Kings, that means onslaught, that means anything, guys. And when one of your Fire King monsters on the field is destroyed, he can be special summoned from the hand. Played at three, of course. And the other card that's played at three is Yaksha. Same thing as Barong, but the only difference is when she's destroyed, she can pop any card in the hand or on the field from your side. So if you have a Garunix in your hand, low key pop it. And then people will be like, oh, what happened? You'll be like, nothing happened. I just I just sent into the graveyard. It doesn't matter. And then next turn, boom, blows up the whole field. Now we go to the spells. Tanky, self-explanatory, searcher of the deck, better than necros. Screw necros. They don't have shit on this card. Tensu gives you an extra normal summon per turn. You guys don't know how useful that is, especially when Coach Wolfbar gets negated by stupid breakthrough skill or Trish or some anything. It's just going to get negated or banished. Rekindling. Very, very useful. Better than Soul Charge in every way. Banish all monsters at the end phase. Just kidding. They're not going to be there. You're going to obviously go for the rank 4 plays. Yoko is a very useful conditional fire formation because you discard any Beast Warrior from your hand. And if you do, you destroy a face-up target. So if you have a Bur Dante, that bear couldn't just straight up pop. You use this card, troll your opponent, play it at 2, rekindling at 1 because it has to be tanky at 3, tensu at 3, circle the fire kings at 3 because it's a quick switcheroo. If you have a, let's say, a Yaksha on the field and you're like, I just really don't want to destroy my monsters right now and I need a fire fist bear. Oh wait, he's in the grave. And circle the fire king just does that little cycle of likes, Samsara. I'm going to get banned from YouTube in before I get banned. Anyways, my anyways counter should be around 5 or 6 by now. 
Tencent is very useful when you're playing against any deck that has a boss monsters of attack points higher than 2500 including Dante itself but in general the weakness of fire formation cards is that if they play mystical space typhoon you're pretty much screwed last but not least is fire king island it's an lcg card that hasn't been released yet and it basically is the searching root of this deck it ignites fire king combos you guys will see how crazy this card is there's various ways to utilize it and it's basically your second tanky for fire kings and brotherhood of the fire fist thanks for watching and i hope you enjoy the next section of this video Thank you.